Hi, I'm Michael Odie. I'm a contributor to the SolarWinds community and president and CTO of Tech Inc. And today we're going to pick up with part two of migrating databases to in-memory OLTP. And I'm going to show you how you use the analysis, migrate, and report tool to do that. Uh, first, we're going to have a quick review of the transaction performance analysis overview report. This report shows us the, the tables or stored procedures that are recommended to be converted to in-memory OLTP. Then, I'll show you how you can actually do the conversion by running the Memory Optimization Advisor. Uh, next, we'll dig into some sample schema changes. Um, the schema changes that you might have to make depend upon your application, but you'll see the kinds of things that might have to be changed. And then, we'll look at actually performing the memory optimization for a couple tables. So, let's jump in. If you remember in Part 1, uh, we created a management data warehouse. Then we ran a workload and we captured that workload. And we are now, or we did a report on that workload to see uh, what was recommended to change over. And we ran this tra transaction performance analysis overview. So let's go ahead and kick off that report again, have a quick review of what it looks like. And you can see it's retrieving the data here. It takes it just a second. And we jumped into our table usage analysis, which you can see here and it's pulling it back it takes it just a second so we were interested in the tpcc database so we drill into that database and we looked at the tables that it was interested in there we see the high gain tables and then on the right side we see the tables with the minimal effort well let's look at converting the item table so how do we do that well to perform the conversion let's open up our tpcc database and let's go over and we'll first look at the item table. And by selecting it, and then we can right click it and bring up the context menu. And from that context menu, we should see our memory optimization advisor. So let's go ahead and run it. So the memory optimization advisor will go ahead and if the table is fine, it will perform the the memory optimization for us, but it's first going to do an analysis of the table. We know there's a little bit of work to be done on it because it says there was um, some or a, a minimal amount of migration work required. So let's kick off the migration here. And here we can see the memory optimization advisor. It presents us with a wizard that we can step through to migrate our objects. So when it does the migration validation, it performed an analysis and it tells us one of the things that's stopping us from performing the migration right now, the following unsupported indexes are not defined. So there's a nullable index column on this table, and it doesn't like that. So we can go ahead and change this, and also the non-primary unique key. So I can get in and make a couple quick schema changes, and then continue, and we'll try to migrate again. So let's go ahead, and we'll cancel the optimization advisor here for a second. And now let's go in and use the designer and we'll make a couple changes to this table. Remember, the first thing it said is it didn't want the ID column to allow nulls. So let's change that. And we'll go ahead and save the change. So this will take it just a second while it goes ahead and makes the change. And then remember, the other change was that um, it did not want this index. So let's pull the index out of here. Now we've gone ahead and, and deleted the index. Let's go ahead now and rerun the Memory Optimization Advisor for this table. And now we can see that we've gone ahead and everything is supported now. All is good. Let's go ahead and hit Next. And at this point, it's given us a couple warnings for information. We're going to go ahead and hit Next again. And now it's going to create a new file group for us. It's giving us a path for the file group where it's going to save it. And it's also going to rename the original table, so we're not going to lose anything. Let's go ahead and hit Next. Next, it's going to ask us what kind of index that we want to create for this uh, table. And we are going to choose uh, the hash index for it. And we are going to give it a bucket count. And we'll just go ahead and select the default here. And at this point, the table is ready to be migrated. So let's go ahead and hit the button, and the migration has been started. So now it's actually migrating this table to in-memory OLTP. And this shouldn't take it too long to do this. It's going to go ahead and copy the data, move it over into the new memory optimized file group. So let's go ahead and click OK. 
And at this point, the migration is done. And this is an in-memory OLTP table. And if we look at our database properties, we should see a, a new file group out there for us. So let's have a look. And there it is, our memory optimized file group. So the, the AMR tool has gone ahead and converted a table for us. And we can see that the schema changes that were required really weren't so much. Well, that was it for part two of using the Analysis Migrate Report tool. Uh, thank you for watching.